Heavy rain hit Italy's southern region of Sicily Tuesday into Wednesday, causing cars to be swept out to sea and damaged homes. Italian firefighters reported carrying out more than 70 operations involving flooding, road disruptions and people stuck in their homes or cars. Torri Arcarafi, Riposto, Jar, Acireale, and ACI Sant'Antonio were the municipalities most affected by the bad weather. In the small village of Altarello, four people were rescued after being stuck on the lower floors of their flooded house. E che mi vigili del fuoco, c'è fumo. The Indonesian and Australian militaries began joint combat drills off Indonesia's main island of Java on Wednesday, with about 2,000 troops training in air, maritime, amphibious and land operations. They'll participate in a live-fire exercise near Benangan Beach of East Java's Sichabondo district with tanks, artillery, infantry and attack helicopters, a joint landing operation and a non-combat evacuation used for a disaster. The four-day Carries Woomera 2024 exercise highlighted the cooperation between the countries strengthened by the recent signing of the Australia-Indonesia Defence Cooperation Agreement. Although Indonesia is often presented as one of Australia's most important neighbours and strategic allies, the relationship has fluctuated. Recent disagreements include allegations that Australia had wiretapped private phone calls of a past Indonesian president, Indonesia's use of capital punishment on Australian drug smugglers and the smuggling of migrants. The exercise is also part of Indo-Pacific Endeavour 2024, Australia's largest international engagement activity in the region, taking place in Australia and Indonesia, commander of the Australian Amphibious Task Force Captain Chris Doherty told reporters. Analysts consider Indonesia's defence a priority of new President Prabowo Subianto.
He wants to expand his military by buying submarines, frigates and fighter jets and wants to initiate more defense cooperation with various countries. Indonesia has held military exercises with other countries, including the Russian Navy on November 4 in Indonesia's East Java Seas, as Russia's invasion of Ukraine brought renewed concerns over China's assertiveness in the Indo-Pacific. Last month, Indonesia said its patrol ships drove away a Chinese Coast Guard ship that disrupted a survey being undertaken by a state-owned energy company in a part of the South China Sea disputed by both countries. China has rapidly expanded its military and has become increasingly assertive in pursuing territorial claims in the South China Sea, which Beijing claims virtually in its entirety. The tensions have led to more frequent confrontations, primarily with the Philippines and Vietnam, though the long-time territorial disputes also involve Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei, and Taiwan. Thank you. 